The New Zealand government plans to review a Māori and Pacific admission scheme, despite its own Minister of Health and Pacific Peoples, Dr Shane Reti, benefiting from it. The scheme, also known as MAPAS, was established in 1972 to train more Māori and Pacifica doctors, who were historically underrepresented in the workforce. Now, as part of the ACT Party's vow to end race-based policies, MAPAS and its Otago equivalent are set to undergo review, which is a concern to medical professionals. Just last week, a group of Pacific students graduated with medical degrees and are set to enter the workforce as doctors through the help of this program. I spoke with Sir Colin Tukuitonga, who believes, if it's not broken, why fix it? Pacific and Māori students, as compared to their Pākehā colleagues, tend to work in places uh, with Pacific uh, communities, and I'm told for example, that Māori and Pacific uh, young ones are more likely to enter into general practice compared with their Pākehā colleagues and therefore a lot more likely to serve in Māori and Pacific uh, communities. So MAPAS is not the problem that people might uh, claim it is. In fact, it's a, a response to the selection process that has been in place over the years. But as I say, I think your colleague uh, documented the history quite well. I didn't. Um, I don't really have much more to add to that other than what I've just said. Right. Um, I thought it would be worth kind of talking about the graduation last week. Fantastic event. We yep. graduated 54 medical graduates. Uh, 20 of them were Pacific. Six were Māori and Pacific, so about half uh, Pacific origin. So we're quite excited about that. I mean, it was a fantastic event, I thought. And how important is that pathway? Uh, Would it have been possible to have almost half of the graduates Māori and Pacific if it weren't for MAPAS? It would be hard to do, I imagine. If you didn't have these measures in place, uh, an affirmative action and support for Māori Pacific students, it would not have been able, uh, we wouldn't have seen those numbers. If you look at the first half of the MAPAS process, whenever it was it started in 72, uh, your colleagues' numbers sh- showed that actually there were very few Māori Pacific students in the early days, and this is a recent uh, development, what we've just seen with the graduation of 54 of them um, last week. It was a fantastic uh, celebration. And let's kind of focus on the future as well. What does this mean for New Zealand, for our Māori and Pacific communities? There's been a lot of research done about the importance of having cultural competency and an understanding and making patients feel comfortable and safe. Um, But what does this mean for, I guess, the health outlook for our communities? Well, I've, I've, I've mentioned this a few times. The international evidence shows that if concordance is the jargon, if you have a concordance between your provider, the nurse or the doctor with the patient, you have better outcomes, not just for the patient and his or her family, but it reduces overall costs to the health system. And that finding has been reproduced in many countries around the world. So our experience is the same. If you match your doctor with the patient in terms of their language, cultural uh, competency, etc., you have better outcomes, not just for the patient, but for the whole country. And that's why the idea that both ourselves and Janine and Otago uh, try to get to is important. In other words, we want our medical workforce to reflect the society that we are or we have because we have better outcomes and it reduces the overall cost uh, of healthcare to the country. You have better outcomes for patients. In terms of uh, MAPAS, our graduates are more likely to go. General practice is uh, primary care, community care, you know. Uh, they, they're, not, they're less likely to want to set up private practice uh, and they're more likely to work with multi providers, specific providers in general practice and primary care serving in those uh, communities. And our graduates uh, are 
not overrepresented, but they are more likely to be fellows of the College of uh, GPs, which is the primary college looking after community practices. So that much we're confident about. In other words, I think MAP has, quite apart from what we said earlier about outcomes, we know for a fact that they're less likely to leave and go to Australia, and they're more likely to work in communities with specific providers, uh, work in primary care. And I think that's an important uh, difference as well.